every day. And uh, shout out to Eric, actually, uh, one of the people who got me gymming. Uh, but I had an apartment gym, which was in my basement. And so I'd just go downstairs every day. Um, and now I don't have an apartment gym. <laughs> so I would have to go in public and um, it's getting infected. So I, I, don't, I don't go to the gym anymore. Back to the match. Back to the match. That's um, a grand title. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Back to grand finals. Bobby, I think being like, I don't want to really play Final Destination versus Breath um, And I think that's why they probably strike to Dreamland instead. Yeah, no, it's it's a good... Uh, it's it's so weird. It's like a Dreffin specific mm -hmm. counterpoint. But well, those do think... Sorry, go ahead. Those, those do exist. Dreffin specific counterpoint. I think, like, for people, it is. It's true. Um, but what's conventional is what applies to most people and is what is convenient. So if you have information per player, like, mm -hmm. FD is not necessarily Sheik's worst stage. Well, it's Sheik's worst stage, but it's not every Sheik's worst stage. It's not Breffin's worst stage. Absolutely. Maybe. Um, are, are we... So, do I have Bobby for six for this set? Correct? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I yeah. mean, do you, do you want? Do you want Bobby? Yeah, it's... No. Okay. Okay. I don't. <laughs> okay. I'm, feel, I'm feeling good about today. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. I, I know you are. I know you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Besides the, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very, very strong um, spacing here by Bobby. Um, la laser, laser. Uh, okay, now, it, so this feels like a blast stock, Bobby, even though it's, um, it is, it is not less stock. He's playing really well. What I'm trying to say. Yeah, I like that he's playing the top platform game. Um, but it, it's incumbent upon him to keep the pressure on, despite um, you know playing at that at that spacing and distance. Mm -hmm. Which actually, maybe it's not because Dreffen is like Dreffen wants you to put pressure on him and is uh, is like pretty content to to play back as well. Yeah, definitely one of those players who just like loves playing out of the corner, out of shield, out of disadvantageous positions, and really good at reading it too. Mm. <gasps> he's dead. Wow, he's dead. Really good. Also, um, I think Bobby showing some of his matchup knowledge, where I think a lot of people are like, "Oh, I get up from ledge here," uh, because most characters can drift or something, and I need to punish landing. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, that's some awareness to go, no, nope, grab and ledge. No, nope, grab ledge. Yeah, she just dies there. It's very, mm -hmm. very good for, for mm -hmm. most characters. Um, this has been a very long <laughs> top eight. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout outs to Peachy Keen and Luigi Goes Hard. And Luigi Goes Hard. And, and Bobby Big Balls pick Pikachu. And Bobby Big Balls pick Pikachu. But he did have a 30 second match, so maybe yeah, for that one. Yeah, but he played two Pikachu games. <laughs> for, for that one, we'll give him some credit. We'll give him a little bit. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Bobby Big Balls. Oh, Dreffin just barely makes it back on. Oh. I thought he was going to grab Ledge. Yeah. That was uh, very solid. Okay. Man, Bobby's really gonna reset the bracket after going Pikachu. <laughs> you think Ow. if he goes up 2-0 here, he's gonna go Pikachu versus oh Dreffin? Oh my god! <laughs> I would be so angry. Oh no! Oh no! What's going on? Yeah. Bobby teching it, but it's not enough. <laughs> I should have been. This is your money, boss. I know. That, that was a really good read by Bobby. He, he read the full hop out of the corner, corner by Dreffin. Mm -hmm. I think Dreffin is 
is one who's likely to do that with run up downs. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I love that. That, that double jump height is like so temp. He does it again? Wow, he does it again. I think Treffin is actually like, he's shown his hand a little bit too much. And Bobby Big Ball's nose, like, full hopping out of the corner is something Drevin likes to do. And especially, um, that and full hop daring in the corner. Like, not drifting out, but just, like, in place. Right, right. Oh, what? What? Drevin just misses that? Whoa! Drevin Phantom dash attack! Oh my god, the fade backs. The space hit. Yeah, that was definitely a F smash situation, but he finds it later on in the interaction instead. Wow, Dref and Wave landing onto platform, and Bobby Big Balls with a really crucial slide off to prevent him getting comboed any further. Getting into a bigger combo? Yeah, pretty nuts actually right now. Pretty juicy! Wow, 92% massive here. And that's why I don't practice Amsa Tech, kids, is because you just get hit. <laughs> oh, the shiz. Are we to... <laughs> it's he... I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's just not uh, touch it. <laughs> uh, uh, crazy double laser up smash by, mm -hmm. by Falco. By Bobby. Yeah, Bobby up. Bobby two up. O versus Retro. I think... <laughs> I, I'll, I'll do, I'll do, uh, no, he's not going Pikachu. He's not going not Pikachu. Going Pikachu. I, I got a, <laughs> where'd you get, is that a dog scratcher? It's a back, back scratcher. scratcher. Oh, I need one of those. Yeah. I need one of those in the, and the oh, head. Man. Okay. If you, I bought a scalp massager for my girlfriend and it came with a back scratcher. Ooh. Is, so, would you get it off of Amazon? I, I did. Okay. Yeah. You'll have to link me that later. That sounds okay. like a. Oh, well, it's a good purchase. Yeah, I didn't know that it would come with a, a back scratcher, so it was just a surprise. Yeah, uh, th that's like, that's always great mm. when you're not expecting something good and you get it. <laughs> right, such as us not expecting Bobby Big Balls to reset Grand Finals <laughs> and you being up $11. I'm up $11. Maybe. Maybe. Bobby could lose. Bobby could lose. There are not... Um, we don't have the same amount of counter picks from the Falco side that we normally expect because we normally expect Final Destination to be one of them. That, that's true, yeah. I, I think Bobby 3 0s here. It's crazy. Unless? Unless. I think Dreffen has got the, uh, Dreffen's got the clutch that comes from experience, and Bobby's got the, uh, tilted that comes from. Mentality. Yeah. Oh, Bob, Bobby's tilted. <laughs> or Bobby tilts. Bobby can be tilted. Yeah, that's true. Bobby can lose it. I no, that's actually. Also, I've seen Bobby get reverse 3 0 by. Well, I, I didn't see. I, I've reverse 3 0 Bobby. <laughs> I've, I've played in this exact situation versus Bobby. And right. And he's wow. Down. Incredible sequence from Drefin. Actually, reading the hell out of Bobby. Oh, look, he goes for yeah, Bobby. Okay, Bobby's gonna fish for this stock so hard. Yeah, I, I get hit by that down or that S I think a lot of people. Do. Oh, Drefin, so sick. Oh, oh. Yeah. wow, Drefin playing so smart now, actually. Um, like really, really spacing around the things that Bobby wants to threaten him with. And it he's up a stock and a half, June. I think what you were saying about Bobby really fishing for this kill is uh, it's coming it's, true. Oh my god, he's, he's fishing so hard. He almost hard. did it. Yeah, he almost did it. Ooh, he goes for the dinosaur. Double? Triple? <laughs> oh All my right. god. All right. At a certain point, Dreffen says, or Bobby says, uh, you, do, you do not get to up smash me anymore. I, only I get to do disrespect. Yeah, it's now. over on my terms. Yeah. It's I. On my terms. That... <laughs> the back scratch is so funny. Well, who, does this sound like you... anything? Does, it, does that sound like anything? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me increase the volu your volume. Do it, do it more? No, I, it's it's just getting filtered out. 
Oh, nice. So I'm scratching the mic threads with the back scratcher. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's it's really getting uh, stuffed, much like Dreffen is to Bobby's first approach. However, Bobby keeping the pressure on. Mmm. Spacing. Oh my god, Bobby's pressure right now is insane. Down airs. Bobby's actually really good at that counter hit game. People don't talk about it a lot. And Dreffen on an actual down throw tech chase. That was like three or four there. Um, into an end guard. Doesn't cover, but pretty good damage. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it worked. Andy Zelda. Drop zone nair. I like a lot. And I, uh, Andy Zelda here. I, I really wish we had like this. Brig, can we get stats some week? Like, get that stats. Uh... Uh, okay, I was about to say at that percent, Zelda's not that bad, um, because <clears throat> because Dreffen getting a back air or a fair leads to a kill. I think at a higher percent. Wow, he scoops him with the shine up air. That is a sick sequence, for Bobby. And Dreffen gets mangoed. That excellent drift from Bobby. Bobby actually gets the kill there with the. Uh... Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. Now, Bobby actually does really well right now. Like, up a stock. It's so hard to read it. He plays so confidently. Yeah, so I was saying, like, Bobby tilts, but I think Bobby also does best with momentum, too. So, uh, you know, say. <gasps> oh my god! Miss, miss conversion there from, from Dreffen. Could have gotten the stock. Yeah. Those are a bit of a reversal, but at least Dreffen makes it back onto stage. Oh, I can't believe that didn't grab there, Jim. Yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> that grab. That grab. <laughs> that grab. There. I, I, I was trying really hard not to say I can't believe it's not for <laughs> <laughs> It still counts if you say it afterwards. Yeah, I'm, I just had to admit, I had so much shame. <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh, okay, really big for Dreffen. Doesn't hit the turnaround to, to grab Bobby out of the air, but it doesn't matter. Good kill to Dreffen. Good kill. Um, that's that's good for Bobby. He got the trade on the needles. Dreffen's gonna die to air here. And he's Zelda. And he's Zelda. Does he go for the transform right now? He does. Okay, so he does have his jump. Oh, okay, yeah. Interesting. Interesting yeah. air dodge. That's there. really not many options there. Can Dreffen get gets the grab? Very important. Very important. Oh, uh, really nice SDI from Bobby Big Balls, but Dreffen is still on it. He's got the reaction tech chase on lock. He's got him up to 60%, building slowly. Is this it? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, the death chase by Dreffen. Un unnecessary. Incredibly unnecessary. Up smash. Yeah. <laughs> Dreffen has a lot of momentum now, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And he's also content to not approach. Um, oh, really nice. Using the platforms to diagonal needle and that pressure to, to bring Bobby in for him to jump into a full hop down here, but Bobby lands the F smash. This is gonna be it! Oh my god! Bobby resetting the bracket and giving me... Alright, Eric, double or nothing? You wanna put 11 on this? I'll put 11 on it. I'll put 11 on this. I got... I got Dreffin. Yeah, I got Bobby. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think it, I think that's pretty fair. Um, Dreffen is... <laughs> Sorry. I, Dreffen I is uh, the hot... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm, Dude, uh, I got a hot hand right now. Like, Bobby... <laughs> Bobby definitely runs on momentum and on his hot hands. But you know hot hand is literally... is called the hot hand fallacy. Yes. Okay, okay I, as long I am, as you're aware. I'll, well, uh, oh, I, I am. There's a video about biases that I'm, I am working on, and uh, oh, that is a bias. But I did not, um, <laughs> did not put it in. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like a hundred and I think there's like a hundred and ninety-four. There's hundreds and hundreds of cognitive biases. Mm. 
So it's really hard to pick like six to do a video on. There are uh, many different ways to combat cognitive biases. And this is a big problem for the intelligence community because cognitive biases funnel analysts into assumptions, yeah. poor models of thinking, and then wrong conclusions. Yeah, big, big problem in almost any industry. And the Smash mm. community, in the lens that I was examining it through, it leads to a lot of assumptions on tier lists. Mm. You know, how to deal with specific mm. matchups, how, the mm. relative strength of characters. Um, so in, in any community, it sort of affects the way you view information. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you know, combating it's very important. Knowing that, hey, this is the thing. Like, do I actually think um, Marth is this good or is Zane just winning everything right now? Right, right. Which, which is the availability heuristic, I think. Or mm. for me. <laughs> they kind of, also or, a little bit of recency bias. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. you can make the argument for that. Um, do you know yeah. how to uh, combat cognitive biases, Jim? Um, awareness. That's the big part. That's the big yeah. part. Um, the CIA uses specific th like thought exercises to get them out of cognitive biases called structured analytic techniques. Interesting. And that, yeah, they've published like 10 ish of them in something called the Tradecraft Primer, which is just available online. It's, is it just sort of rationalizing, like, okay, I am experiencing this cognitive bias, and therefore, like. They're, they're structured. So they're like thought exercises where there's a method of like different things that you do, um, like to combat biases in general. Oh, that sounds. Yeah, but, a lot of matrices and, you know, axes. Something you'd be into. Yeah, but, um, Refn is seeing the matrix right now. Yes. <laughs> um, he's definitely, Bobby is on the, or the x-axis, um, because he was in knockdown right there. Now he's in the y. Now he's in the x. Now, now he's, in the he's y. deep in the y. <laughs> um, first... Battlefield start that I've seen Drepin on. Um, so I think is interesting. I, I, I think Bobby has actually um, took the time between sets to like actually steal himself over. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to seeing like the two of them actually playing really what I think is going to be a serious um, a serious showing from both of them and like a good, a good set. Yeah. I think um, the fact that like the second set, Bobby, I'm not sure like too much about. I feel like first set, Bobby comes in hot. Second set, Bobby, is is it known how good second set Bobby is? is um, I don't think we see him that much. Right. <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, yes. It's hard to it's hard to say because we don't have a ton of um, data on like close sets. We see Bobby throwing sets sometimes, um, and then coming through, like, maybe he comes to Grand from Losers and just, like, rolls over them 6-0. Um, but I don't think we, we see, like, Bobby facing someone who is really going to test him when he's playing well. So, um... The fact that he took set one, I think, is really interesting. And to see him second set, well, we'll have to remember this next time. Yes. Oh, my God. Bobby, so Bobby really likes Battlefield because he, every time he's in the corner, he just starts daring to top left. <laughs> <laughs> like he'll default to a few different, like, escape options. And they're all really hard to cover. Mm. And, <laughs> and he forge matches on top platform. Yeah. Ooh. Great little counter hit there. Reference edge cancel? Mmm. And does he know about that? The double shots? No, uh, about edge. About edge cancel. Oh, yeah, no, that's. I, I think he, he has to know, but, like, I've never seen him do. <laughs> He's gotta know, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> like Griffin does an edge cancel and he's like, wow! What was that? What was that? What was that? That's definitely also not how Driven talks. He does talk like that, though. Oh, not my, not like mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I might do. My Driven impression is uh, kind of, like, ra raspy. Mm. Like, uh, see you later. <laughs> Driven calls me stink bug because he's really bad. <laughs> What is this, a greaser? And the outsider? <laughs> See you later! <laughs> See you later, stink bug! <laughs> oh, okay, Dreffen actually reads the spot dodge out of, um, on Wake Up, but he's just a little bit late. Mm, okay, Battlefield also good for Falco in that situation, similar to Fountain. He's got that sort of like free get out of the corner move, uh, full hop, and then you know, side B in, in that field oh Did God. you see Bobby really wanted to suicide there? there? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think if that's a forward air, Bobby is just dead. I know. Oh my God, what a short. What a he goes for the double hop laser, or the short hop laser, or the double laser from last. The dump smash. This is such an important game. Oh! oh yeah. The Nair out of shield was actually delayed. He yes. short hops and then Nairs. I, I feel like that must have thrown Bobby off. He's like, oh, Dreffen's gonna roll. And then Dreffen does like delayed Nair. It's crazy. Yeah, very, very tight match. Um, I think it's... It's always weird, right? Because, like, winning game one versus Falco as Sheik is, is typically really important. Or against Spacey's. It's typically really important. But I, I yeah. think for Dreffen, um, that's mitigated a little bit. Yeah. Because Bob, Bobby's counterpicks aren't super strong here. Like, he has... Stadium. 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 I, I think even Dreffen isn't that bad on Stadium. No, um, I don't think so either. He, he sticks to a particular game plan. Where, um, is the stadium? It is. Here's what Dreffen does. One of two things. He's either charging needles and full hop while full hopping in the corner, or he's diagonal needing, needling while he's on the platform. Wow, jump read. Uh, he's getting on the platform and diagonal needling to bait Bobby in. Right. And when he baits Bobby in, he will go for a full hop down air to, like, anti air. Mm hmm. And both are like pretty strong against Bobby's style because he's like always trying to come in. Yeah, I, least... I think Bobby tries to be disciplined, which you'll see versus like Luigi goes hard or something. <laughs> but versus Dreffen, I, I think he's more susceptible to being baited. Oh, he had his jump. I guess he had his jump. The double drift there was super impressive by Bobby. Oh. Wow, Dreffen finds Bobby with a forward air. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby, not even full, full hopping to center stage, even when there's no top one. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Stage. Please, please challenge this move. Please <laughs> challenge this move. Please challenge this move. Ooh, I like that forward smash, but Dreffen is actually a genius, so it doesn't work. And oh he spaces for the the straight in angle. Okay, Dreffen, uh, Bo Bobby's more kill. <laughs> kill. I was gonna say Dreffen's like kind of fishing for this kill, and Bobby's punishing it really well with shield. But... Yeah, Bobby is kill no. Kill no. Sorry, I yes, uh, Dreffen was fishing for it a little bit, yeah. and, and, no, and no, Sheik he, not being right. a good year to do it. Dreffen was like kill yes, and then Bobby was like kill no. Kill. No. Kill yes. Kill yes. Kill. I was reading to the right. I would have gotten that. Ooh, up till here. Mm, nice spaces for the up tilling goes for. Uh, this confirms up. Nice nair also. Streffin? No! Streffin, no! I think he had his jump. He, he, I think he fared, had... and I think he... He just jumped really, really late. 
Like, he had his jump. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. Oh no! I think for a moment, like, I, I thought, like, oh dang. Like, going this low, I'm not gonna have time to charge my needles. And I think if Dreffen was thinking that too, that would have been just- <gasps> Bobby is what? so sick! What? Oh my god, he's so mad he didn't finish that combo. Yeah. He was gonna get time stamped. He yeah. was gonna get put next to- I'm um... so into you. Yeah. <laughs> just give me a reason. Just a little bit. <laughs> I think Bobby would use pink and fun. <laughs> I, I want to think so. <laughs> Just as bad as it seems. Welcome, clean. That that song is a banger. Yeah, I remember it's the 2015 or something. 2015, pink and fun, whatever. Really? Early 2000. Oh my god, 2010. 2012. <laughs> Yeah, early 2010s. Um, wow, that song came out nine years ago, June. What happened to fun? Literally uh, and big What happened to fun? I feel like fun got hurt. They, fun the band ceased. Oh no, they did? Um, yeah, Nate Roos, the lead singer, went off to do a solo project. And his solo work before was also good. Yeah. That's that's the problem with those bands, or at least American. I know the some of the the pop bands um, are are like still together, but like a lot of the American bands broke up, and then the the lead of the the pop band just ended up having a solo career, and then the other ones just uh. Anyway. <laughs> it's like ah yeah it sucks sucks to not be Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> However, Nate Roos started as a solo artist with his band The Format. Which okay. is good. It's good. It was a good band. It was good music. Um, speaking of good music, Dreffen versus Dreffen, Bobby Big probably knows some like good music from back in his day. You know. Right. Um, such as uh, Bach. <laughs> <laughs> Stravinsky. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I, actually, like, the age differential is so large here because Bobby Big Balls is a young man. Um, Bobby Big Balls was probably not even born when Just Give Me a Reason came out. That's true. That's... don't say Bobby that's Big true. Bobby Big Balls is, is nine years old. Is nine. Is nine, Chad. Which explains a lot about him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sick oh, tech from Dreffen. Oh, Bobby. This is... Oh my gosh. Down DI on that Nair out of shield. Bobby Big Ball's going, uh, I can Nair out of shield too, and it's, uh, pretty good. Hmm. Bobby's still poised to take this game, but I think getting Dreffen out of crouch cancel percent is gonna be really important for this next stock. I am um, Dreffen. I think has to take like less than sixty or seventy percent to be in a good position going into the next stock. Ah, uh, hey, he's dead. He's dead. It, Bobby, he's up dead. Two one. Bobby, yeah, is on tournament point, and I, if Dreffen loses the next game, oh Junebug, twenty two dollars. A man who makes more money than I. Hey, don't don't get me DOS here. Well, I'm just saying you you make more money than I do. I, I, I do, I do. Which is why those $22 are gonna feel even sweeter, baby. <laughs> um, shout outs to Fiscal Responsibility. Uh, make sure you guys are planning and you guys are saving. Yeah, uh, I learned a lot recently about Fiscal Responsibility. Mm -hmm. One, that I have done. And two, that you I can get it. have done. Yeah. yeah. There are some great forces in this universe. Death, taxes, oh my gosh. Uh, death, taxes, compound interest, and Dreffen's edge guards. Right, yeah. For those of you who don't know, compound interest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but absolutely. I, I do think like Dreffen was doing really well when he could get those, those early gimps on, on Bobby. Um, otherwise, he just has to work so much harder. Yeah, that's true. Like, Dreffen's combo game, it's, it's, 
It's pretty good, but it's nothing compared to Bobby. Like, Bobby Bobby can confirm off so many different hits from so many different situations. Yeah. Preston's really kind of struggling to find those big hits. Now we have potential here. Team Demon. Yeah, okay, so he's, he's reading the jump with the up air, but, uh... You know, something we... Something we've learned is that chic up air, those spindly little legs, don't do well against the big, fat, and unstoppable force of Falco's down here. <laughs> oh my gosh, big combo from Bobby right now. The bigger lead he builds, the closer he oh gets. That was crazy. Crazy that tech. Was crazy. Crazy edge guard. Crazy edge guard, and after he teched, he ledge teched that nair, but fast <laughs> fell immediately. He, that guy dropped. Wow, Bobby Big Balls is one stock away from taking this tournament over Dreffen and me owing Junebug the equivalent of three Chipotles. Three Chipotles. Or the half of the order of Bonchan I got today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Dreffen. Big punish, he really needs to make something happen here or to stop taking damage, but he's in an edge guard situation. Oh my, oh my god. god. The bird is Bobby's too powerful. Styling. The it's... bird is too powerful, much like the bird that Junebug ordered from Bonchon Chicken. Yes. Which was upwards of $40. Yeah, I got, I got too many wings. It's going to last me multiple days. And this win is going to last Bobby at least two minutes. As he, you know, makes this amazing uh, run, kind of beating the player that he lost to and winners and uh, doing it kind of decisively. Double 3-1. Yeah. You oh, know what? I think it's going to last until next week because that is when Xanadu is going to happen again. This is a weekly tournament That's where true. entry is free and Bobby wins an Amazon gift card. Um, just make sure to enter because it is free to enter where yeah. you can get uh, some of the best competition this side of the Mississippi.